here's a fundamental question that's facing your party right now. Do you think that President Trump is a liar? And I, 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 I'm not going to go there. And it, it does nothing to what I know that I'm not a liar. I know that I tell the truth. I know that I have integrity and I've built my businesses on integrity. And I also know that Gavin Newsom lacks integrity. Otherwise, he wouldn't be going out and soliciting charitable contributions to his wife's foundation. And uh, he appears unconcerned about what that looks like. So all I know is what I, uh, how I've lived my life, uh, Jack. Well, I guess, and I appreciate that. But my question is, um, and I don't want to be too repetitive, but your party right now is in the thrall of President Trump and he's very influential. And so a person such as yourself, who has a high degree of personal integrity, I would think would be able to answer the question. I mean, do you think that he lost? You know, it's not germane. What you're trying to do is divide some Republicans who love him versus some Republicans who hate him. And you're gonna try to get the whole partisan battle of 2020 reinstituted into this election. And frankly, it's obnoxious that that's what Mr. Newsom wants to do. Mr. Trump is no longer the president of the country. California is in crisis. We've got homeless homelessness that's out of control. We've got shortages of water and electricity. We've got a cost of living that average families cannot bear. We've got taxes that are outrageous, that are pushing people out of this state. We have an unfunded pension debt that needs to be addressed. And there's a whole lot of reasons that Mr. Newsom should be recalled and removed from the leadership of the state so that we can turn this state around and make it livable and affordable for people. And frankly, it, it is a bit obnoxious that uh, that certain members you know, of the media would just want to make this about the former president. It's not. It's about California. Well, I appreciate that. Um, I, I think when you look at the actions that President Trump had, has engaged in in the last year, um, it calls into question his commitment to American democracy. And so I think it's a fundamental question. So here's another side of the question. Do you think Gavin Newsom is a liar? I think Gavin Newsom has a problem with the truth. Yes, I think Gavin Newsom told people that he was going to treat 90,000 acres of forest land. Actually reiterated that earlier this year. And now it's been discovered that it was only 11,000 acres. I also believe that Mr. Newsom, you know, does things that display a lack of integrity. Again, soliciting charitable contributions from people that have business before the state at which he is making decisions about uh, that go to his wife's foundation uh, is a lack of integrity because it tells Mr. You know, it, it basically informs us that Mr. Newsom doesn't care about whether people trust that he's doing things because they're the right thing to do or because somebody is making a contribution to his wife's charity. Governor Gavin Newsom has suggested that in California, we're moving toward weaponizing the recall process. It's clear that you disagree with Governor Newsom on a wide range of issues and some voters do too. So my question for you is, are policy differences sufficient to recall a governor in the middle of his term or what should the standard for a recall be? Well, I think it's it was intended to remove an official who had uh, strayed, uh, I suppose, away from uh, his initial mission. Uh, you know, some people think it should be just for uh, corruption or official misconduct of some sort, and I actually don't agree with that. Uh, I think it should be uh, available to be used when. People, the, a, a significant number of people believe that the state is so seriously headed in the wrong direction that it needs uh, action sooner than the next election. And uh, I think that's exactly the situation that California is in today. Uh, certainly, I will hopefully get into the issues, but uh, I think with the volume of crises and responses to those crises that are hitting California and that have, have been hitting California since Mr. Newsom was elected, I think it's certainly appropriate for the, for the people. Uh, and, and let me tell you, I think California's constitution is geared towards giving power to the people for them to take the action to change the direction of this state. I will tell you that if Mr. Newsom were an executive in a 
business of any sort, uh, the shareholders of that business would not want to wait for another year to change the direction of that business um, because more serious damage could 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 happen to that business. And so I would submit to you that uh, it's it's a good thing to remove an executive who is leading the state in seri a seriously wrong direction and, and give the people that power.